but I used to do that sometimes like literally my friends would go um to the bar and eat and we'll be like um okay yeah bye guys I'm just gonna go like really <laughs> I'm not a nerd but um I don't like to stress <laughs> say guys because i've seen in my last video i said hi guys like 20 times <laughs> so i'm just gonna say hi welcome back to my channel so today as you can tell it's a different video i'm going to be talking about university i'm going to be giving you some tips on university how to survive your first year of university things i knew before i went into university and how i chose my university course as well so first and first as you know or as you may not know um, I've just finished my first year of university on May, ending of May, I finished my first year, first year of uni and as you may not know or as you may know, um, I studied law, I'm studying law, I'm on my first year of law which I've just finished so I'm going on my second year on September and um, yeah so I did survive my first year, I didn't have any receipts so I passed all my course, all my modules <laughs> Which is good. I can't talk today. I finished all my <laughs> I passed all my modules, which is good. I didn't have any research so I can join my summer. And yeah. Okay, so first thing first, let's go back to when I was in college. So when I was in college, um what I did study was applied science, which is chemistry, biology, and physics. So I did chemistry, biology and physics on my first year, and on second year I just did uh, biology and chemistry. So obviously when I went to college to study applied science, what I had in mind was to be a doctor. So I wanted to study medicine at uni. So that's why I did that course at the beginning. However, on the second year of college, at the beginning of second year of college, we had to choose our universe. We had to choose our university courses. So I had the chance to read more about medicine and more about the course in itself and I realized that medicine is really I felt like it was not for me too many years so that the process is too long and I didn't want to go through that it's not that I'm not bothered or I wasn't bothered but I just didn't see myself doing that anymore so what I did I changed to pharmacies I went to be a pharmacist but then obviously there's a lot of chemistry in pharmacies and I'm not a chemistry fan I think chemistry is fascinating but I don't see myself studying chemistry but I three four years or for the rest of my life no so I changed from pharmacist to nursing and what I thought is I thought okay nursing is similar to medicine so is it not similar to being a doctor that's what I had in mind at the time so I went to nursing thinking it's my it's less years it should be less difficult and that's what I had in mind so honestly uh, on my second year of uni, sorry, my second year of college, I went to an open day, a university open day of nursing, actually two university nursing open days. And I really had the opportunity to see what nursing is about. Nursing is not only about, it's not, it's not like medicine, it's not like being a doctor is different because I think nursing is more about caring about the patient, so giving affection to the patient. Um, taking care of the patient, providing affection to patients, as I said before, it's more about caring. While being a doctor is a bit different, so they're very different professions. And from that time, like after the open day, I didn't see myself as a nurse anymore. I liked the open day; it was so nice. But then I didn't see myself doing what nurses do. It was just not me. Cause it was just not me. So what I did. I didn't say anything like in my mind I didn't like nurse and I didn't like it anymore like no I didn't want to do that but still I was thinking I was convincing myself that nurse was my path but it wasn't so um yeah what I did still I went to nursing um I got the place at university I, I went to the uh, open it was not really open day it was like an exam day so I had to do an English and math test which I passed uh, and so I got the place at the university I wanted to and if I did nursing I was going to start 
doing it in January. So I just so many things. Ah, summer. I did start a uni in January. So after college, I, I had like five months of waiting. <gasps> okay. Five months of waiting. <laughs> and uh, so obviously I, I had a lot of time for the summer. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna chill for the summer and just work. But then something happened. What happened? In uh, June, I found a job. Um, it was more like a business job, like in the business related area. But uh, what I'm gonna say, during the summer, instead of looking for science related jobs or you know nursing jobs to get more experience, I was looking for more office jobs, which can also I obviously you can tell that I'm, I was not really into science anywhere. Like I wasn't into science anyway. But so I was thinking, so I was like, why do I want to do that? Do I really want to spend three years of my life studying nursing, knowing that I don't like it? I didn't say anything because I was a bit afraid of saying it because I felt like it was too late to change course. However, on I don't remember what day, I don't remember what month, I think it was on uh, uh, June. Yeah, at the beginning of June, I was coming back from work and I was in the bus and I was thinking to myself, um, I don't really like nurse, like, because usually when I on my way to home this hospital on the side and i used to look at the hospital and be like okay one day i'm gonna be there and there were also nurses outside i was i was like okay i'm gonna be there one i'm gonna be them one day and just didn't see myself like them but still i was convincing myself that yes that is what i need to that is what that is the only way to help people you know so when i got home after that something happened um I, I went home. I was to my. I was hi, hi mom, hi dad, hi sister, blah blah. blah. And uh, I don't know how, but um, the nursing topic came up. And because obviously the the job experience I got, sorry, the job I was working in summer was not a science related job. It was more business, so working in an office. And my sister um, was like, "Oh, so you enjoying um, you enjoying the office office work?" And then my dad was like. Some, he said something like, are you sure that nursing is for you? My dad said it. And I was like, what? No, nursing, nursing is not for me. I don't want to do it. No. no. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I don't think it is. Still, that day, I was like, um, yeah, I think it is. Yeah. But I knew that it wasn't. I was just lying to myself. It wasn't. No. So my dad was like, maybe it's not too late to change course. And I was like, yes yes so after he said that i just grabbed the university's catalog just started looking for courses and then i saw law and there's an interesting fact about um me well not just that but like i always liked looking at documentaries like murder documentaries things related with crime and law i just loved it i used to watch so many documentaries related to law and criminal on Netflix and even on YouTube without realizing that law was for me anyway like so I, I saw law and I was like mm, law is um, interesting you know I like documentaries I watch law documentaries so that should be for me so um I was like okay yeah 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 can, can we change course like I want to change course that day <laughs> it was 6 p.m. so I couldn't do it at that time but then the following day and what I loved is that my family supported me so much and they knew nursing was not for me anyway, but they didn't say anything because they wanted me to choose what I liked. And they were thinking that I did like nursing, but I didn't. Anyway, after that, this story is becoming too long, but after that, I chose I chose law anyway. So um, I chose law. I called the following day and uh, they were able to give me a place for law starting in September. So a month after. Instead of January, it was January for nursing, but then for law, it was September. And it was just amazing. Like, I really thank God a lot because like he, he just showed me the right path so after that you can skip this part if you're not interested in it so I went to law um, I started law in uh, September so and um, yeah I'm a law student now <laughs> from being a nurse not from wanting to be a nurse not from wanting to be a doctor wanted to be a midwife 
a nurse and now I'm doing law so like it's the like opposite science and business opposite so yeah that's it so uh, now I'm just gonna give you some tips on uh, law and university and things that I wish I knew before you name I just let you know guys my previous story what I want to tell you is that always follow your heart don't be scared to say what you like if you like clean <coughs> if you like I, I want to do a rubbish example but like if you want to if you like taking care about pay taking care of patients and um, you know just showing affection affection to patient then go for nursing if you like my chemistry go for, for go for uh, pharmacies if you like small baby like go for um with the just do what you like if you like numbers go for accounting just do what you like and don't be afraid to change at the last minute because <clears throat> just let's just pretend my dad didn't say anything that day i wouldn't have said anything i would have gone i would i would be a nurse student now and maybe hated my cause but and hate my cause for that's in life but so it's never too late to change it's never too late to understand what you really like in life just go for what you like go for what you see yourself in in 10 to 6 years if that is what you see yourself in then go for it it's never hard law is hard yes medicine is hard yes but if that's what you like then go for it you know don't be scared because you can't do it because when you like something you will keep your best in that and you will succeed and full stop understand okay so let's leave the past to the past now i'm a lost fan and i'm going to be giving you some tips on uni is always go to your lessons because how university works in my uni we've got lectures and seminars so lectures in lectures there's a teacher sorry lecturer just this briefly explains the topic by looking at powerpoints and things like that and then the seminar is where we will give you an exercise prior to the seminar and you will have to do that exercise which will help you with the exams and everything so always go to your seminars always do your exercise for your seminar always because exam, the exam I, have, I can't speak the exam i had in um, may yeah was one of the questions was identical to one of the questions we did in the seminar like only the name changed but the principle was the same another thing i would say so attend all your lectures unless you really can't but i would suggest you do because they will always lecturers will always say something that other people will not be able to find but because he said it you would yeah always go to lectures always go to seminars unless you really can't 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 but go <laughs> lecture seminar always start studying early always like begin your vision early because it would be very helpful especially with law where you need to learn a lot of cases if you start learning the, them cases after like doing the exam close to the exam it's gonna be hard because like you have to learn like more than 60 cases something depending on how your course is assessed so the earlier you start the better it is <laughs> and another tip is um I'm not well not always go to the library but when you have time go to the library instead of wasting your break doing nothing go to the library take a book start reading what you did so after like what i used to do after um lesson i would always go to the library always just straight to the library okay my library <clears throat> to get some book just rewrite the notes we did on the lecture so that when it's when it's exam period, I don't need to rewrite them notes again, but I have more time to study. So always, I'm not saying don't enjoy your university life, but still, you need to be able to defish, like to prioritize. That is the word. You need to prioritize. So I'm not saying the first day of uni just go to the library and buy buy friends, but I used to do that sometimes. Like literally, my friends would go um, to the bar and eat, and would be like um okay yeah bye guys i'm just gonna go library <laughs> i'm not a nerd but um i don't like to stress because obviously if you leave everything after you will stress and i hate stress why would you stress we can make your life easier and study before why so that's what i used to do i would used to just go to the library get food grab a food and eat it in the library sometimes you can't and well sometimes you can so you just eat in the library and study 
and it was so helpful because it didn't make sense. I didn't stress. Let me just talk because I knew what's the thing. I was just revising and revising, but not studying because I've already studied before. You know, after lectures, sometimes you won't have time to do that. But when you have time, when you have a break of two hours, three hours, don't waste them. Just go to the library, and I didn't even used to go home always because if I knew, I knew if I went home, I would be distracted and not distracted, but then. I would just watch TV and be like, okay, but then, but like, if you're going to library, you know you're going to library to revise. So that's a good thing. Library, library is your best friend. So get some books. Don't always use one book. Use more books. Sorry. So I think these are the main tips. To be honest, study early. I mean, revise early. Make notes. Library is your best friend. You can find many books there. Um. So prioritize and go to all your lectures and seminars and don't get distracted by people who don't you need to choose the right friends to you because if you choose the wrong group you may end up like them and not sudden you know and just be distracted so choose the right friends the right company the right company seems like <laughs> the company no the, you know we are the right friendships which will guide you and help you yeah, so that's basically it. That's how I chose my university course, and that's how I survived the first year of uni. And I passed by what by doing what by revising early. I literally made all my notes after the lectures. Literally, I would just go to the library, type them up, get a book, type them up, print them, file, and then when I had time to revise them, revise them, revise them. That is really a good tip. Start early early that's the only thing you can say start early that's i think i'm not saying that's the key but it's one of the key and attend all the seminars and do all the um, exercise before the seminar because it's helpful it's very helpful so you can interact in the seminar and just be more into it and learn more because by practice you learn because i've um last month i mean during the exam period um there was, i was on the website and i read that our brain is just you, you really need to train your brain the more you repeat something to your brain the more it will stick so if you repeat it for like, every day every day just repeat the same thing the brain will just catch that thing you're trying to learn and just print it in your brain and it will be there it's surprising how it is with uh, i used to um because <clears throat> obviously for law you need to uh, learn a lot of cases so Adam Mrs. Linda, Danny Mrs. Stevenson. So what I did is always I you every day would just repeat them cases always, always, always and they'd be stuck in my mind, like stuck there there. Like even if I want to forget them, I won't because they're stuck there because I kept repeating them every day and the brain just caught them. Even without me realizing just, just repeat, repeat, repeat. Be focused and believe in yourself. Because you just really need to believe yourself. You must have something that motivates you to keep going. What motivates your life? What motivates me is my family, my grandma, who once said that uh, she once said, "You will be a lawyer." That's what she said. I didn't even realize until I went into uni. I didn't remember until I went into uni. So, as uh, she motivates me so much as well, um. <coughs> Just knowing that I want to be a lawyer, like, well, I don't even know if I want to be a lawyer yet, but I, I want to study law and see what field I would choose. But that's, I don't know, that, there's always something that will motivate you to keep going. Yourself, you need to motivate yourself, you need to believe yourself. Don't let anyone get you down, never. And follow your heart, follow what you really want to do. <clears throat> don't let anyone else tell you what you should do. If someone tells you, but then you obviously, if someone tells you and you know that is what you should do and you feel that what is what you should do, then go for it. Nothing is hard in this world. We have doctors, we have lawyers, we have accountants. They studied, they did it, they're not magicians. <laughs> they didn't do a voodoo to become that. Just study and just hard work. Just imagine the future with your big car, big house, a good job. That's what motivates me as well. Family future grandmother just family and yourself motivate yourself and god motivates me because he believes in me so that's it 
that's the end of this video it was a bit long i have 19 minutes and 20 seconds well if you reach the end then thank you so that's it if you have any questions comment down below and this video was long and maybe i repeated the same thing twice but just to get in your brain so that's it for today i wish you liked this video and just comment below what videos you want me to do next if you have any questions about uni just ask me and i can answer it to them i think i will also do another video on well there's not even i wanted to do a video on how to get into uni but you don't really need to i mean it will be explained to you in college anyway so but still if you have any suggestions of videos you want me to do just ask me and i will do them because i've got a bit of time this summer so i will just prep it and take the time so that's it thank you for watching comment subscribe and like and see you in the next video bye